welcome to our channel and today we're going to do a Cricut craft tutorial for our first video. A lot of people have been asking us how we do our crafts, although we're not famous so we're just joking. And yeah, let's get started. And now we're going to show you our materials. First we have um, the heat resistant tape, it's very important. Now we have our scissors and we have our butcher paper which is this and now we have our sublimation paper and now we have our lint roller and we have our white sublimation mug and last but not least we have our Cricut mug press which is this and we obviously need our sublimation printer. Alright, so let's create our design. So we are using Silhouette Studio for this tutorial, but you can also use Cricut Design Space, but we figured that um, they're just about the same. So here you can see it's still a mess, but we promise you that it will all come together. And we have here several elements. We have this rectangle and this image right here, which we are going to use. Um, this is actually the card that my children made for our friend. And we know that she's gonna love it. So we're gonna use that one. And this design here that we got from Etsy. And this background that we also got from Etsy. So we resized everything. Our background, is 4.5 by 10 inches and that is actually the size of our mug but we figured that we're not going to be um, covering the mug with our design and the images so um, we resized this differently and that what's um, that's why this rectangle is right here so first we are going to mirror our images something that I always forget. And it's very important to do that because we are going to, to be sublimating these images. And so they have to be mirrored. So we'll put it right there. And this other one over here. And just making sure that everything is within that rectangle. Um, by the way, this rectangle is just a guide. It's not gonna be printed out later. So now we are going to select that and group the objects or the elements. So now we're going to drag that and put that on top of this um, background. And by the way, what I did with the background, let me show you. What I did with the background is I had to set it to back. And now let's put it back right here okay I think that looks good okay so now we are going to select everything again and group the elements or the objects and we are going to print this but of course we cannot do that because our size is the letter size so what we have to do is rotate this image so it will, it will fit on the paper, if I can find that right over here. Okay, just drag it down just a little bit. And here you are. So now we are going to click print. And this is going to be the preview. All right, looks good. And then we are going to click print again. So here it's very important if you want to have a vibrant and um, good looking um, sublimated mug, it's very important that you, um, you choose um, correct settings. So here we are going to be using um, our um, printer and I have my sublim um, sublimation printer. It is actually just a regular Epson um, Eco Tank printer that I um, converted to a sublimation printer and so we are going to choose preferences 
go to paper quality, I already pre-selected this one. So depending on what you're using, I have it there. And I, um, for me, it works great. So I'm using that settings. And then go to advanced. Don't forget to click high quality. You can choose normal. But if you do that, you will have lines in your image. So I use high quality. Click OK. And then click OK, click Apply, and then we are going to print it. And I will show you um, after it's done. This is the um, printed design, and we cut it to fit our mug. And now we have to lint roll our mug because it's very important. If you don't like all the little dust, well, um, it will... Um, like stick to the mug and you don't want that to happen. Um, now you wrap your design around your mug, make sure like the blank side is facing you, and then wrap the butcher paper around the design and make sure you use heat resistant tape because if you use normal tape, then I guess it will melt. Here is our mug, and it's ready to be sublimated. So you put it in the preheated mug press and push down the lever and let the mug press do its job. So once it's done, the Cricut will let you know when it's ready to be taken out. And when you take it out, be very careful because it's very hot and if possible, use gloves. Now that it's done, put it on a mat if possible and then let it sit until it's cool enough to touch it. Okay guys, it's time for the big reveal. And if it's still hot, you may want to let it cool a bit more. And then once it's ready, you have to take the butcher paper off and the like design sheet off and see how it turned out. Okay, that's good. Here is the final result. I think it looks awesome. So here's what we did. Of course, my baby sister didn't sign it. And then here, how, and here's how pretty it turned out. I think it looks amazing.